A smolt is a juvenile salmon or trout that's ready to migrate to the ocean. Smolt traps intercept all the migrating fish in a given stream system, providing valuable information about the type and quantity of fish using the stream. The goal of the trap is to collect all fish traffic heading in both directions so that the fish may be identified, measured, counted, and released back to the stream. Smolt traps include two holding boxes, one box that houses fish traveling upstream and one for those traveling downstream. One holding box has the capacity to hold thousands of smolts. The holding boxes are checked and emptied at least twice a day. Smolt traps are installed in the spring, which is the juvenile salmonid migration season, and removed when the season ends or water levels get too low. It takes about two weeks to build a smolt trap, and each one is tailor-fit to the stream it's serving. The city of Bellingham carefully times the construction of smolt traps to maximize capture of out-migrating juvenile fish while minimizing impacts to all species and life stages present in the system. The traps are installed after receiving appropriate permits and approvals, and staff work in close coordination with relevant governmental agencies throughout the smolt traps implementation. Even though a smolt trap is an important tool for collecting information on juvenile salmon, it does cause temporary impacts to the stream and riparian area. Therefore, traps are used only when necessary. Care is taken to minimize impacts by locating traps where they will cause the least harm, temporarily covering the stream bed with visqueen to avoid erosion, selecting access routes to minimize soil compaction and damage to riparian plants, and limiting the number of staff visiting the trap. After the trap is removed, the stream and riparian area are restored by removing all trap materials, placing mulch, and replanting with native plants. The site is allowed to rest and recover for multiple years before another trap is considered for the same location. Understanding what types of fish and how many of each kind are in a stream helps inform decisions regarding the management and protection of our natural resources. You can help protect our local resources by planting native plants and removing noxious weeds in your yard, disposing of pet waste in the trash, fixing car leaks, washing your car at a commercial car wash, and staying on designated trails to minimize our impact on the stream system.